Hello friends and welcome back. If you want to unlock the full potential of ChatGPT, you have to ask the right questions. So let's head over to chat.openai.com. The link is in the description below. And whilst you are there, smash the like button as this will help the YouTube algorithm suggest my videos to other people. All right, so the first thing to get the most out of ChatGPT is to look at categories. So this here is known as categories. And what categories help you do is to organize your chats by topics. So for example, you could have categories for sports, entertainment, or technology. In my case, I have spirituality and religion. I have general tutorials, career growth, and a whole lot more. I'll come back to categories later in the video, so stay tuned. Now, the second thing that's going to help us get the most out of ChatGPT is what we call the prompt. So a prompt is simply the questions you ask ChatGPT. Once we enter a prompt here, like in this case, I did, hello ChatGPT, how are you feeling? ChatGPT will then generate a response. And this response can vary from a few seconds to a minute. And that depends on the complexity of the questions or your internet speed. Generally, those on the pro plan will receive faster responses. Like I mentioned earlier, it's super important to get very clear and specific with your prompt so you can get the most accurate responses from chat GPT. So I'm going to give you an example of a bad prompt and then we'll see how to improve the prompt. So let's say I'm asking chat GPT to write me a CV for the pharmaceutical sales representative role. Let's see what we get. First of all, it's basic, very generic. My name is not there, my phone number, nothing. This objective probably has nothing to do with what I'm really aspiring for. Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. Generic. Let's look at the experience section. This is certainly a good place to start from, but it's too generic and too basic. So we are going to see how to improve the prompt so you get to know the difference between a good prompt and a bad one. So now instead of asking chat GPT this lazy basic question, let me bring a better prompt up. So here I'm saying, please write a CV for the pharmaceutical sales representative role in a question and answer format, focusing on impact, results, and outcomes. Ask me questions to gather the necessary information to tailor the CV to my experience and qualifications. Provide the CV results after every few questions so we can continue to refine it until I say completed. You may group similar questions together to avoid excessive back and forth. Do you understand this prompt? So let's go. All right, so let's see what ChatGPT has done here. Now, instead of just going ahead to provide a template, it's asking me a series of questions. ChatGPT is asking me for details. So it's asking me what my current job or most recent job is, what my biggest achievement has been as a pharmaceutical sales representative. So the more context you provide ChatGPT, the better it's able to tailor the information to what you need. So I'm going to bring up an even better prompt. So here, I'm saying that as an experienced resume writer, your goal is to present my skills and experiences in the best possible light, using language that is both clear and industry specific. My college and volunteer work experience are crucial in demonstrating my abilities to solve the challenges faced by my desired company. Your role, Chat GPT, is to help me craft a resume in a way that clearly shows my potential to handle the primary responsibilities of the job. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Now the trouble I'm having with this one is that ChatGPT remembers the previous conversation. It's, it's mixed things up. So instead of doing this, let me open up a new chat and then paste the same thing. And the response is entirely different. And so that's why I mentioned earlier on that you need to categorize the chats so that you don't confuse chat GPT. So this is what chat GPT says. Of course, I'll be happy to assist you in crafting a resume that showcases your skills and experiences in the best possible light. To begin, I would recommend that we first clarify the position and industry you are targeting so we can tailor the resume specifically to the requirements of the job. Could you please provide me with more information about the job you are applying for? and the industry you are interested in. Additionally, please provide me with a copy of your current resume and any other relevant information that can help me understand your skills and experiences. So let's assume that 
you are new to resume writing, you've never had a CV, you can just tell chat GPT, have a CV. So the point is, the better you get at asking chat GPT very intelligent questions, the better it's also able to give you more tailored responses and more relevant responses. So at this point, what I will encourage you to do is to play a lot with chat GPT. You get the most out of it by asking it questions, being very specific, being as much detailed as possible. And I have a lot of exciting videos coming up 